Jesus. Where's your husband? He's at home. He's at home in Orlando. Amen. Amen. The matrimonio is shaking. Está sacudiéndose. Amen. Where are your children? I don't have any children. You don't have any children. I need to pray for you for children. Amen. Amen. I'm pushing your stomach. I'm pushing your stomach. Listen, the issue of mind will not change. You should be managed to break. No tienes hijos y tu matrimonio está siendo Very happy for you, you are here in this meeting. Amen. Missionary Church. My name is Brittany Irene Owens, previously known as Brittany Irene Brown, and um, I am from Oroville, California, and I originally grew up in Quincy, California. My first encounter with God was when I was a little girl, and there was this little blue bus, and there were all these kids on there, and they were happy, and I just wanted to go where they were going, and I kept bugging my mother at the time to, to go and um, I didn't know, but they went to church. And so that's when I first gave my life to the Lord. Um, fast forward to today, I am an administrator for the Oroville Southside Community Improvement Association. And then I also um, have several home-based businesses. Then continuing about my first encounter with God, um, my mother ended up giving her life to the Lord. I invited her to come to the church with me. Um, it was a Baptist church, and the kids, they just, I just fell in love with Jesus there. He was my, he's truly my first love. And uh, my mom, she gave her life to the Lord, and we started going to number one Church of God in Christ, um, church under the leadership of the late Pastor James Thompson. And um, we went there, and they were having a, uh, a, a, a revival at the park, at the Martin Luther King Park right around the corner from their church, 3290 Burlington Avenue. And um, I think that's the correct address. But um, if not, it's right across the street. But um, right over there, there's the Martin Luther King Park and they were having a revival by uh, Pastor Heron Anderson. 
and um, she was talking about the yoke of bondage, breaking the yoke of bondage, and she was talking about the Holy Ghost. And so I was just so captivated, and she asked if anybody wanted the Holy Ghost to come. So I went, I went up there, and that night, that's when I got baptized with the Holy Ghost, and you know, as the scripture said, tongues of fire. And uh, being a little girl, I loved it. <laughs> then um, when uh, Pastor James Thompson passed away, my family, we went to one memorial church, God in Christ, under the leadership of the late Pastor Adrian um, Hills. And um, he was a great man of God, full of power and the Holy Ghost, and he just loved young people. He loved young people. That was he had a he had a calling for young people, and um, I feel like I have an anointing for young people, and that God put me on this earth to be a blessing to young people. But uh, we went to Win Memorial. It's now under the leadership of Pastor Edward Earl Hall, and um, that's where I am at. And then um, previously I was at uh, Faith Temple International Ministries under the leadership of Pastor Carl Hills and uh, that's ministry in Chico. And um, that is how I came to find about of um, Charis Missionary Church. Um, my pastor, my pastor at the time, Pastor Carl Hills, he'd follow um, uh, TB Joshua. And so T through TB Joshua, I learned about um, some of his wise men. So Apostle John Chi and um, who else? I learned about uh, Apostle Mechanisa, and then I learned through the, through watching his videos on YouTube. I learned about you know his ministry and church and how to stay connected to Charis. When I heard about um, uh, Charis or Apostle Mechanisa coming to uh, to the United States, I found out through Pastor Carl Hills, and they were going to take a trip as a church down there and um i wanted to go so bad and then my ex-husband at the time um he gave me permission to go but i wanted to do the one-on-one -on -one with uh with the with the apostle mcnanisa but i couldn't afford it i had no money at all and um my husband said no so you know be out of respect for him i i um he was an unbeliever and so out of respect for him, I didn't press the issue, but it was such a blessing getting down there to Los Angeles and being called out of the crowd from Apostle Mechanisa and not only that, Prophet Andres. I hope I'm saying the names right. Yeah. <laughs> so the beautiful thing about um, April 6th, uh, 2019, when I went to the, um... <laughs> there's my little guy, he's waking up. His name means uh, God's gift. His name's Theo. And then my teenage years, I did backslide. And, um, but, you know, I think the Lord, it, his word says he's married to the backslider. And I have this, I laugh because the Apostle Paul says he was the chief sinner. And I'm like, Lord, I'm probably the chief backslider. I have backslid so many times. But I thank the Lord that, you know, his word is faithful. And that if we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. He cannot deny who he is. And I just thank the Lord that, you know, even with all my mistakes and and falling down and, you know, his word is true. If you do fall, you repent and, um, you know, you ask God to forgive you of your sins. And I just thank the Lord for his mercy that's kept me all the days of my life. Uh, by the mercies of God, we're not consumed as compassions fell not. And I just thank the Lord for godly sorrow that leads to repentance. Um, I just thank him for his word. But when I was a teenager, my mom, she did get married and I had a hard time with that. I ran away. Um, I just did not want to be home. And um, one of our neighbors, she let me live with her for a little bit because they didn't want me to be running away. And, um, and then uh, shortly after that, our family moved us to uh, the town of Biggs, California. And uh, that's where I began to get exposed to doing drugs, uh, drinking alcohol at a young age. And then I want to say I was about, I was in middle school when this happened. And, um, and then I also began to get gang affiliated. And, um, and with, with being uh, gang affiliated, 
there was a case where they were trying to put the blame on me, but I thank the Lord that, you know, the Lord saved me after the fact of the, being in the gang affiliation and all the accusations. The police were trying to say that I had something to do with it, but I thank the Lord that because of his grace, the case was dropped. The person who was guilty confessed to all charges. And, um, you know, how I overcame that was knowing that the Lord, his word is, his word is true. Um, I got saved again. I rededicated my life to the Lord and he took away the desire when I was in middle school and high school to do the drugs and drink alcohol and also the desire to hang around the old crew, you know, the people who I was hanging out with that we were getting affiliated. And, um, like I said, I just thank the Lord that that case was dropped and all charges against me, all the allegations that the police were trying to say that I had some involvement to do with the gang affiliation were dropped. But yeah, as an adult, I did backslide again. And um, I was in an unequally yoked marriage. And after, I wanna say 13 years, um, that marriage did in, end in divorce. And um, when I had went to Los Angeles for the, um, for the uh, the service that Apostle Mekinanisa and Prophet Andres were at in uh, in LA, uh, I can't remember the church Iglesia Cristemonte, um, but uh, the pastor was Pastor Solis. I remember Pastor Solis, and um, <laughs> my little guy is full. Look at him; he's happy. <laughs> Sleep in peace, holy. Um, but yeah, I went to Pastor Solis and Apostle McEnanisa called me out of the crowd. And he said, where's your husband? And my husband, he was at home at the time. He didn't want to go. And my church, uh, Faith Temple uh, International Ministries, also known as Faith Temple Church of God in Christ, um, they wanted to go down there. So they took a... Um, they took a uh, a van down there and uh and they wanted I didn't have any money at the time. I wanted to do the one on one so bad with the possum like and Anisa and I just did not have the money to do it. I think I just had like a little bit of money for like food and I wanna say that was it. But at the time this was um I wanna say this was around uh this was like maybe before COVID happened. I can't remember the actual timeline. But um, I really wanted to do it. And my husband said no. So out of respect for him, I did not pursue it anymore as far as doing the one-on-one. -on -one. But it was truly such a blessing because Apostle Megan and Nisa called me out of the crowd. <laughs> and he wanted to speak with me. And he asked me, where's your husband? And I was like, he's at home. And he was telling me to speak louder. And I didn't realize, you know, there was all this extra noise. The music was going on. There were other people in there. And... Um, but yeah, my husband, he wasn't there. Uh, like I said, it was an unequally yoked marriage. And I just thank the Lord that um, in everything that I learned from my life experiences, even the testimony I have with having this baby, um, you know, I know it's going to be told at that point in time, but just know that I did almost die multiple times. And I just thank the, the Lord for his word. Well, you know, Paul said the Lord stood, I think it was Paul, one of the apostles, they said, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. And I just thank the Lord that, you know, even in the face of death, he's brought me out more, over and over and over again. And, um, and I just thank the Lord that, you know, the pattern that I noticed that how I overcame was the word of God says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And a lot of times the enemy doesn't want our testimony to go out. But I just give all glory and praise and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, I just thank him for his word and being faithful to his word.